In a bold move, Cardinal Timothy Dolan of New York is appointing a former federal judge to investigate procedures and protocols for his archdiocese. He hopes to restore faith of those who are disillusioned by how the church has handled sexual abuse allegations. Correspondent Jason Calvi reports from outside the U.S. Bishops Conference headquarters. Good evening, Jason. Good evening, Lauren. Cardinal Dolan says many Catholics are let down and beginning to lose trust in the U.S. bishops. He's announcing a full investigation into his archdiocesan records and personnel. Barbara Jones, who left the Manhattan federal bench in 2013, will be at the helm. The Cardinal has told me to leave no stone unturned. New York's Cardinal Dolan names retired judge Barbara Jones to investigate how the archdiocese has handled sex abuse cases. I'm afraid many don't believe me. So I'm asking you, <clears throat> please, to conduct an independent scrupulous review to see if indeed there are gaps, if there are things we should be doing and are not. The Archdiocese of New York is the second largest in the country with 2.6 million Catholics. After the sex scandal of 2002 that centered on Boston, Dolan says the U.S. bishops fixed many problems, but not all. Bishops need the same accountability and the same oversight as they're supposed to give to priests in two areas. When they themselves have committed uh, immoral abuse or when they've been negligent in uh, acting upon cases that they get. Catholics were shocked this June when the Archdiocese of New York found an allegation of child sex abuse against Theodore McCarrick credible. Last week, leaders of the U.S. bishops met here in Washington. And yesterday, the conference revealed their strategy. It includes a hotline to report complaints of abuse and harassment by bishops and support for a full investigation into Archbishop McCarrick's sexual misconduct. Dolan says the faithful deserve answers. How could a man continue to rise in the church with a background like that? And that's a darn good question that I share. We have got to get to the bottom of that. Now, New York's attorney general is also investigating clergy sexual abuse. On the national level, the bishops from around the country will be gathering in Baltimore this November for high-stakes debates on their next steps. Now, conservative Catholic Michael Hitchborn of the Lepanto Institute says the bishops' conference recommendations from yesterday are a good first step, but an attorney representing Boston clergy sex abuse victims says the statement from the bishops' conference was insincere. Lauren? Correspondent Jason Calvi. Thank you, Jason.